12 News is your local election headquarters, bringing you more in-depth coverage of last night's results. We're joined live at 4 by 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi. Ted, you were up pretty late I'd last so, night yeah. <laughs> uh, trying to find out the results, waiting for those final returns out of Taunton for the Bristol County Sheriff's race. What time were you on the phone? Uh, I talked to Paul Harrow at 2.15 in the morning. 2.15 we yeah. in the morning. <laughs> yeah, and Ted, as we've been reporting, those results were really the final blow for Republicans this time. Uh, yeah, Kim, Kayla, a day that start, yesterday started with Republicans hoping for a red wave in this region, and it ended really with the opposite, a blue wave, even by the standards of this heavily Democratic region. Air 3 key takeaways, I would say. First, not only did Democrats Dan McKee and Seth Magaziner win the races for Rhode Island governor and Congress, they topped expectations. Even their own campaigns were surprised by how big their winning margins were. Second, Kim, you mentioned the Bristol County, Massachusetts sheriff race. Republican Tom Hodgson had held that seat for 25 years. He had strong support from Charlie Baker. He had the power of incumbency, and he still went down to defeat against Democrat Paul Harrow. And then when you zoom out, there are 26 statewide or federal offices in around the Massachusetts altogether. And as of next January, voters will have elected a Democrat to every single one of them. And people again might say, well, you know, we know this is a Democratic area, but I look back through history all the way back to the 1920s. I don't think this has ever happened before in Rhode Island, Massachusetts, where there wow. wasn't even one Republican holding a statewide or federal office. So it's it was just a bloodbath for the GOP last night and unexpectedly. Now, Ted, you mentioned Dan McKee's big victory in the Rhode Island governor race and there was a clear split geographically in terms of the election. Yeah, Kayla, our colleague Eli Sherman always builds great maps for WPRI.com showing the election results. So take a look at this. First, you're going to see this map is the 2020 presidential election results in Rhode Island. Biden is in blue, Trump is in red, and you can see the state was split right down the middle with Republicans winning the West, but Democrats winning the East, which is more heavily populated. Now take a look at the map of last night's election for governor. McKee in blue, Kalis in red. It's almost exactly the same. The only place that flipped was Richmond, which went blue to red. Otherwise, McKee won every Biden community and Kalis won every Trump community. And there are more people in those McKee Biden towns, which is why he won so emphatically. So that's that's really the fundamental challenge for Republicans in Rhode Island going forward. They've got to make inroads closer to the coastline if they want to win statewide. Yeah, you know, Ted, I was at Alan Fung's watch party last night and you could just feel it in the room when the results came in that he had lost. That was not the expected outcome last night. So disappointment was certainly the operative word for Republicans. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi, thanks so much for being here. Good to be here.